when you look at content and culture around the world, it's already, especially in America, so completely fused and confused maybe, depending, right? whether it's fusion food or whether it's different type of content or you know, all these kind of uh, sort of uh, uh, cultural archetypes that are brought into basically movie business or, right. or books, for instance. So I think we'll gravitate towards the type of AI content that we're already culturally connected to. And therefore, I don't think it's Western culture. In fact, I think, what is Western culture okay. even, right? We used to say that MTV brought down the Berlin Wall, which is get your culture in there, get your way of thinking in there, and you essentially evolve them to be like you. That's not a good thing. And I think that people, if asked, understand that each individual culture um, is special. And, and in fact, I've, I've, I've got a company that's actually trying to be the antidote to homogenization of AI, partly because culturally, what is being scraped right now is predominantly English. And we communicate our values and what's important to us in English. So right now, if you're communicating with many of these chat models, you're getting a Western bias. Right. Now, hopefully this changes. But if it doesn't change, that becomes the bias. I think that the larger question about um, bias and how we can move diversity is more the product decisions made by tech guys inside large companies around the world, um, more than the algorithm. What products do they build?